Hello there guys. What I'm going to show you on this video is how to get maximum your special perks before you leave Sanctuary. So right at the very, very beginning of the game. So I'm just going to change my view so I don't like that view. That's better. So first things first, we're going to pop home. We're not going to bother talking to Cotsworth, we're just going to ignore him. And we're going to go in and get the your special book, which is in Sean's bedroom. Now I have gone home before and the Your Special Book simply wasn't there so make sure you do a save just before you leave the vault so that you can reload it and if the Your Special Book for whatever reason doesn't show up you can uh, reload your save and then grab that because it is so frustrating when you go in there to get the book and it isn't there and you haven't previously saved. You just have to start over and go through what is essentially about 40 minutes of, uh, of the beginning story. So, we've gone home, go into your house, go into Sean's bedroom, and it is there this time, beautiful. Pick up the Your Special Book, and when we pick it up, we will get to choose an attribute. So I'm going to pick Strength, and now I'm going to go over the road, and I'm going to activate the workshop. So over here. <clears throat> Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to grab a couple of things. I'm going to grab the typewriter. Now, inside here, Sometimes inside here you have an adjustable wrench. Uh, sometimes you don't, unfortunately we don't, but there's always one on the wall here. So grab that. And um, I think I picked one up from inside the vault as well. And those contain gears, which are very, very important. So now I'm going to activate the work... Whoops. <laughs> now I'm going to activate the workshop. And I'm going to transfer all my junk into there. So store all my junk. Now I've got an adjustable wrench, which has got a gear. I've got the typewriter. Is that it? No more? Oh, I've not got many things that have um, gears. I've got a couple of death clans, so that's good. So I've got a few gears in there. If you don't have enough gears to do this, and you can't find enough in Sanctuary, then run down to the uh, Red Rocket truck stop. There is a desktop fan inside there on top of the workstation, so you can grab that, and then you can bring it back up here to get the gears. And um, the other thing that we need is copper. And to get copper, you simply scrap a few of these street lights. Uh, so they've got fuses inside them, which contains copper. I think three of them will be enough. So I'm just gonna scrap this one here, and then hopefully we're good to go. I really hope I've got enough gears. So now, what I need to construct is a generator. So I'm just gonna pop that there. One generator, I'm gonna put it flat on the floor because I hate it when stuff hovers. And then the other thing that I need is in um, the uh, manufacturing. So this is the contraptions add-on, I believe. So if you haven't got that, you can't do this. I do apologize that I didn't tell you that at the beginning of the video. You need this, which is the conveyor storage. I'm just gonna rotate it and block it there. And now really annoyingly, because I cannot directly connect that to this, um, this power supply. What I also need is one of these. And this is why, ah, how frustrating. This is why we need those gears. And I don't have enough gears. Now, sometimes when you start up the game and you come over here, as I said, this toolbox here very often has an adjustable spanner inside it. This time it hasn't, which that means I don't have enough gears. That's so annoying but it does mean that you get to see where I can get another gear from. I'm not sure if there are any gears here in the sanctuary besides that one. So I've got to bloody run to the Red Rocket truck stop just to get a gear. I'm not gonna go looking around here to try and find one. I'm just gonna run around to where I know there is one. So I do apologize about that, but if this happens to you, then, uh, then you know how to solve the problem. You know what you need to do. That attribute, I should put in my point so that I can run. I'm going to run all the way down here. I'm not going to bother talking to Dogme. I'm just going to go and get that, um, that desk plan. Now, when I get the desk plan, I'm going to pick it up and take it back because I don't want to, I don't want to put it in the, uh, in the workshop here because I, there's probably some gears inside the workshop, but I know there's one inside the desk plan. So I'm just going to grab that and then just run back home. So if you need to, um, get an extra gear, that's where you get it from. And there's probably some other gears knocking around in various things that are in uh, the Red Rocket truck stop. So, back to the sanctuary. 
While I'm doing this, um, I can tell you how I'm recording. I am recording in 1080p. I'm recording directly into my Mac. I do not have an external drive. I don't have a uh, Windows 10 PC. I don't have a capture card or any of that. And I'm not recording using the game DVR. So if you want to know how I'm recording, uh, and I'm completely unlimited on time, there's no re time restriction on this, then see one of my other videos and you can see how I do that. And of course, I'm also recording my voice at the same time. So now I have that, um, that typewriter, it should enable me uh, to make new conveyor belts. So yes, now I've got enough gears. So <laughs> I'm just gonna rotate this until it bolts on. So there we go. And all I've gotta do now is connect up this to this. So there we go. So yeah, if you want to know how to record with absolutely no restrictions in 1080p and your voice at the same time, then I do have a, a video on my channel that shows you how to do that, and it is much, much easier than all the other methods that I've ever found for recording. So now we've done this, what we're going to do is drop the Your Special Book on this conveyor. It's going to go into the conveyor storage, but if we pick it up just before it goes in and we get our timing perfectly, then one will go into the storage and we'll have one in our inventory as well. And then we will have two. So, I'm going to go into the inventory, go to the Your Special Book, we're going to drop it on the conveyor, and then spin around, get ready, and pick it up just before it goes in. Now I messed up my timing then, so I've still only got one. So let's try again. And I messed it up again, so I've still got one. But if you get the timing right, when you pick it up, you'll have two. And it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Now, I'm not very good at this. What I advise that you do is, when I manage to get it in the right place, which I've still not done, I will, I promise I'll do it. When I get it right, what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and then rewind it and keep watching the timing of the one that I got correct. So not yet, you can ignore all of this until I actually manage to get it to duplicate. So still ignoring everything. Still only one. Let's try a tiny bit later. I think that was too late. No, that was perfect. So now I have two. So what I want you to do is to go back and watch that one over and over and over again. And pay really close attention to where the book is when it goes into here. Now, I kind of use this shadow as a reference point, but don't do that because that shadow will move depending on where the sun is. So imagine there's an imaginary line going from here to the other side of the conveyor belt storage. So it's the threshold of the storage and pay close attention to exactly where the book is on that line when I pick it up. Also, pay attention to where I've got my cursor. So if I had it inside or slightly outside. So you want to be pay attention to where my cursor is, where the book is in relation to that line that goes across the uh, threshold, and also when I pick it up. So if you notice those three things, then you'll know the timing that you need to have to pick the book up at the right time so that you get one, and one goes into the storage. And when you get that timing right, it's going to duplicate it. And if you get that timing right every time, you're going to be able to duplicate this very, very quickly. Now, before, before I go to the next part, what I'd like to tell you is this duplication glitch works for armor. So you could get, for instance, the Silver Strau armor and duplicate that, and you can give it to your companion. It also works for unique weapons. So if you get a unique weapon, you can then um, modify it uh, until the weapon is whatever you want to create, then you can do this to duplicate it and you can give that to your companion, that one yourself, and you can also give them to your settlers. So this glitch works on unique items, like the, your special book, it works on armor, it works on weapons. If you want to do a duplication on anything that you can scrap normally, and then there's a much, much easier way to do that, and you get up to tens of thousands really, really quickly. So one of my other videos will show you how to do that. So now that we've duplicated the actual Your Special Book, what we need to do is drop it on the floor, and then we need to pick it up, and then drop it on the floor, and then pick it up again. 
So when I pick it up this time, absolutely nothing happens. If I go back into my inventory, drop them on the floor again, this time when I pick it up, one of them will do nothing. But the other one is going to give me a special point. So this must be the duplicated one. So if I pick that up, you can see that it's given me the option to choose another attribute point. So I'm going to pick strength again. Now all you need to do is to go back to uh, the conveyor and then drop it again and then pick it up again. Now, it doesn't matter um, if you're duplicating one that's already been used. The newly duplicated book will always give you a new attribute, attribute point. But to get the point, you have to drop it and pick it up and you have to do that twice. Now, obviously, when you're dropping them on the conveyor belt, you're dropping them and you're picking them up and you're dropping them and you're picking up again lots and lots of times. So if you just do that, then there will come a time when you go to pick it up as it goes into the conveyor and uh, you'll have to pick one of the attribute points because it will be at the time when it gives it you. But it's much easier to just duplicate as many as you can and then drop them all on the floor, pick them all up, drop them all on the floor again, pick them all up again, and then you will have the attribute points. So by doing this, um, you can then maximize your uh, stat points here until it's completely full without even having to level up. And if you watch, um, watch the video at the point where I duplicated one and watch that over and over and over again so you know exactly the timing to do this so that you don't have to waste your time trying to do it and kind of stabbing in the dark as to when the timing is, you can see precisely when to do it so that you can get it to duplicate every single time it goes in. Now you do that and within you know, very, very little time you're going to have enough your special books duplicated so that you can maximize all of those attributes. So that's all from me. Um, this is my brand new save where I've done absolutely nothing at all. I'm not going to play with this character, I just really wanted to show you how to do this. The most important thing is getting the gears so that you can build the necessary things to do this and of course you need the add-on uh, that gives you the, uh, the workshop that you, can, um, that you need to use to be able to get these conveyor belts. I'm not sure which add-on it is. It might be contraptions. It might be uh, the workshop one. I think it's. I think it's the workshop one. Is the contraptions one all about the traps? But anyway, that's how you do it. And uh, all you need to do then is to keep duplicating it over and over again until you have maxed out all of your attributes. And if you want to level up your character as well, so you get to a very high level before you leave sanctuary, then I do have another video that shows you how to do that. And uh, all you need to do is duplicate some items and then you need to craft in order to get experience points. So that is all from me. You take care, have a wonderful day and be sure to like and subscribe. And as I said earlier, if you want to know a way of recording your gameplay footage at the same time as your voice in 1080p directly to your Mac without needing a capture card, without needing to use um, uh, an external drive, and also having completely unlimited time, then do watch my other videos because there's a video on my channel that teaches you how to do exactly that. So there we go. You take care and have a great day. Bye bye.